This just in, Hitler's infamous nuisance, the girl with the red hair, was reportedly arrested in the early hours of the morning at a checkpoint in Harlem. Her crimes warrant her to be the most dangerous woman since Eve committed the original sin. We know what you are. Who are you working for? Hmm? Who gave you the newspapers? If you give us a few names, maybe we'll let you go. Who are you working for, you Dutch whore? It is you. So, Johanna, why do you want to join us? I just don't feel as though I'm doing enough. What are you doing at the moment? I'm no longer at university. They cut my funding when I refused to sign the declaration. What were you studying? Law. I wanted to join the League of Nations. Uh -huh. It was the decent thing to do. It's not rare around here. I've... I've stolen food vouchers. I've forged identity cards. I've taken people into hiding, but... I just... I just need to do something more. If necessary, with weapons. How do your parents feel about this? They're the reason I'm like this. They did a good job. But they're too overprotective. Quite so? Since my sister died, they try and keep me out of trouble. My mum even makes me wear a jumper in the middle of the summer so I don't catch a cold, which is sweet for really, but... Are you communist? Communist enough. Good. Your first assignment begins now. Now? Is that a problem? See that man over there? Follow him. Wait until there are no witnesses. Won't be far behind. Grands, <laughs> looks like we found ourselves our new secret weapon. You tricked me. No, not tricked. It was a test. You passed, Joanna. Not Joanna. Not Joanna, huh? Yeah. You catch them fast? No. And what do I have the pleasure of calling? Honey. You're a smart woman, Honey. I think it's time for you to meet everyone else. Ich, ich, it comes from the back of your throat more. Ich, ich. <laughs> Why are you trying to learn the language of the enemy anyway? Because who has invaded us? The Germans. And what language do the Germans speak? German. Exactly. So how are we supposed to report on vital information if we don't understand their language? 
Can you just sit still for one minute? Fine. Why do I have to wear my hair in plaits? Why can't I wear lipstick and look fancy like you two? Because you're too young. If you tried to flirt with the officers, they'd oh, look in your face. Ow! Well, actually, if I wore half as much powder as Hanny, I'd look considerably older. You sound so... Yeah. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> Why do you wear so much? <laughs> to die beautifully. Are you waiting for someone? Fortunately for me, no. So, no boyfriend away fighting then? Fortunately for you, no. Well, that's hard to believe. How so? Oh, no, that'd be telling. I see. Oh. You're an officer, yes? Yes. I've always wondered what it would be like to be an officer. To be able to change so many lives, to be in charge of so many people. And what is it that you do? I work at the hospital. And what's that like? It's like being a soldier of sorts. And as you well know, a soldier never wishes to divulge the horrors they've seen. Quite right. But I'm above all that. Killing. I mean, I'm more of a strategist. Ah, oh, so you're in charge of missions, stuff like that. I really shouldn't say. But for you, I think we could come to some sort of, some sort of arrangement. We'll have invaded Britain before you know it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Not here. Follow me. Did you find Freddy? Yes. Tris found her this morning up a tree. Poor girl was so scared she'd wet herself. I do actually have a plan to go through with you. Wilhelm Haster. The commander of the SS over here? Yes. You want me to do the same to him? Fine. No, not quite. We want you to kidnap his son. We think it would be an advantageous move. No, not children. If we have the child, we can extort him for information. I said no. As soon as we start using children, then how are we any better than they are? I'm sorry, Franz. But you know what I'll have to do to you if you go through with this. My dear Truison Freddy, 
I'm glad to hear you're doing well. I'm afraid I can't say the same for myself. I'm considerably less tough than I thought. Even though I know I'm fighting for what's right, being confronted with death and destruction isn't easy. Especially knowing that I am the cause of it. I don't even recognise myself. I will try and save what's left, but that probably isn't possible anymore. We will see each other soon. All my love, Joe. Why are you trying to learn the language of the enemy anyway? Because who is the main person? Germans. And what language do the Germans speak? German. Exactly. <laughs> so how are we supposed to report the worst information if we don't understand the language? Can you just be still for one minute? Admit it. Admit that you're the woman who hoard herself out to my men just to kill them in cold blood. No. No? No. Well, you seem to care for everyone else's life except your own. So maybe this will change your mind. There are five of your kind, five Dutch girls, just a few cells down from you. We know they're innocent, but we could easily find them guilty if you refuse to confess. Yes. It's me. <laughs> I knew it. You monster. That's what you think of me. All of this time I have sat here and I have looked into your eyes and I have seen nothing. Nothing. Not a glimmer of guilt or shame. You are not human. Not even close. If you thought for one second we were all going to surrender to you. Thank you and follow you, then you were sorely mistaken. Shut your fucking mouth. And I'll let you in on a little secret. There will always be people who fight back. People who quietly rebel. And as long as there is one person against you, then you will always lose. Any last words? Didn't think so. Idiot. 